Hey everyone, it's Mark Sargent, and I'm going to read you a brand new article that ticked me off to no end that was in CNN.com in the technology sector. I'll put a little screenshot of the article. It's called SpaceX to fly to space tourists around the moon in 2018. It was written by Matt McFarland, and it was published just today, just a few hours ago. Let's just get right to it. Two thrill seekers are paying SpaceX to make a trip around the moon next year. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk announced Monday afternoon that the space tourists had already placed a significant deposit for the trip. The travelers will undergo fitness, fitness tests and begin training later this year. Like the Apollo astronauts before them, these individuals will travel into space carrying the hopes and dreams of all humankind, driven by the universal human spirit of exploration, SpaceX said in a blog post. For takeoff, SpaceX will use the same launch pad near Cape Canaveral, Florida, that was used for the Apollo program's missions. No humans have traveled past low Earth orbit since the final Apollo mission in 1972. Low Earth orbit is essentially the first rung on the ladder in being to space. It is also where some satellites that circle the Earth reside. The company doesn't expect this to be a one-time mission. SpaceX said that other people have expressed strong interest in making the trip. The names of the first two travelers have not been released. They are likely paying millions for the adventure. For comparison, space tourists have previously paid the Russian government upwards of $20 million for a trip to the ISS, otherwise known as the International Space Station. NASA has paid the Russians $80 million a seat to send astronauts to the space station, SpaceX has not revealed the price of the roughly week-long trip. Really? Going to do that in a week? SpaceX is putting forward an aggressive timeline for the mission. Oh, I'll say, and we'll get to that as soon as I finish this article, which is just a second, which will rely on a rocket and spacecraft that have not flown yet. The Falcon heavy rocket is expected to make a test flight this summer, and the Crew Dragon spacecraft which will hold the two tourists, will complete a demo mission later this year. And the last part of this says, Next year is going to be a big year for carrying people to the space station and hopefully beyond, Musk said in a conference call with reporters. That's the end of the article. And the reason why I am reading this article is because there are so many things wrong with it. Uh, where, where do I start? My blood pressure is already starting to climb. Not as bad as, like, say, Alex Jones. But it's bad right now. Because if you're going to fake stuff, at least fake things that are reasonable. This claim, this boast by SpaceX is so beyond the pale. Uh, forget about the Google X challenge where we're a probe where they're saying the, uh, we're going to send a pro somebody's some independent ro uh, space organization is going to send a probe to the moon this year in 2017 and supposedly beam back pictures. There's five finalists, but they've got to launch this year. And there's only 10 months left in this year. And it'll come, you know, March starts real, real soon. So for SpaceX to come out and say that they are taking two people to the moon and back. Now, granted, they're saying they're not going to land on the moon. They're just going to circle the moon. Okay, where do we start? One, this the the uh, the Falcon Heavy rocket system that they're talking about here has never flown ever. That that's supposedly going to replace the Saturn V rocket, which is the first question I had as soon as I read this. Like, okay, what booster are you going to use to get there? even if it was real, because we haven't seen a rocket the size of a Saturn V in 50 years. So you're going to build a Falcon Heavy rocket. Where, where is this thing? Where is it being constructed? You're going to have this sucker done in a year? The Falcon Heavy rocket? Are you going to do a test with the Falcon Heavy rocket with a, with a human payload before supposedly you put people on the top of, top of it? Okay, that's the first part. What booster, proven booster system are you going to use to, to pull this off? Second, is got to be in every flat earther's mind, which is <clears throat> what are you going to use for the shielding for the Van Allen radiation belts? What shielding are you using? Because there's only two types of metals you can shield from radiation, and that is lead and gold. And they're both real heavy, and NASA has never admitted, not once, not anything I have read or seen or heard, 
of what exactly, you know, what shielding they used for the entire Apollo program, Apollo 8 through Apollo 17. No shielding was ever, ever talked about. The, Van Allen himself says, oh, we don't have to worry about it since we're going to go real, real fast. Really? Because you, you, you said the Van Allen belts were up to 60,000 miles thick in some spots. And the tr fastest object you can you can get going is about 17, 18,000 miles an hour. That's at least three hours each way through the belts, at least. So how are you going to conquer the Van Allen belts? Moreover, uh, I'm, you're taking tourists, two tourists, on a mission that has not even been attempted in 50 years with a rocket that has never been tested and a capsule program that has never been tested. And, and don't think it's a, an accident that I'm, the video I'm putting behind this little rant is the Orion trial by fire, fire video, which won a Lone Star Emmy, by the way. It was on television, which talks about how a, the Orion, the Mars program, is not even going to send manned capsules up there because they can't figure out how to deal with the Van Allen radiation belts. And this video that you're watching in the background, that was made at the end of 2014. Nobody solved anything. You're not, no, and which is why I'm titling this video, SpaceX is not sending people to the moon in 2018. It is never, ever, ever going to happen. You can't, to even attempt to fake something like this is one of the most reckless things, and which is why Flat Earth is hitting critical mass in 2017. This is just a last ditch effort on their part. This is no different than the uh, the Germans during World War II as they were being surrounded by both the United States and the Soviet Union, how they um, they were announcing to all their people, a oh, victory is just within reach. We're within days of, of, of taking winning the war, even though the, the Berlin was burning at that point. This is this is what NASA and, and SpaceX is, are doing. It's like, oh, yeah, we're, we're totally going to go to the moon now because we've been just hammering on them saying, why? In, why hasn't anybody gone to the moon since 1972? So now Elon Musk is going to say, oh, yeah, we're totally going to go to the moon. Oh, no, no, no we're not going to land there. We're going to send people. Are you going to be recording this? You should have th that. If you do send something, the pod should be bristling with cameras. But I can guarantee you that you're not. You're not going to send any of those shots. Are you going to sh show pictures of the Earth as you're pulling away from it? Pictures of the moon as you're zooming into it? Or is it going to be a complete failed mission? You're going to kill the people. Oh, it's just so I know this is going to probably be the first of several out there because this story is going to just keep keep going. But please, anybody out in the Flat Earth community, dissect this mission. Tear it apart. They're not going anywhere and you know it. So that, that's, that's the end of my rant for now, guys. Just, just read the article and you know, get outraged and make your own videos. Talk to you soon.